Hey there. I got an email from Julie wondering how to do a video and then save it and post it then to your website. So I thought I'd better do a video about that um, for her and for anybody else who wants to do it. So basically what I'm, I'm using different software, so I'm not going to be able to run an actual video in Zoom. Um, so. I'm sorry, but if you can use your imagination, I just can't use two video apps at the same time. It doesn't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into Zoom and I'm going to start a meeting. Okay, so this is just a meeting with yourself. It's, you know, how, how you're going to start out doing all of that. So basically, um, I'm just going to join with computer audio for right now. Um, I'm not going to click to add any participants or anything like that. Now notice my video is not on again because I can't do it since I'm recording this for you and it even says up here that the video failed because because I can't do it so anyway I know this but I just want you to be aware of that that's why you're not seeing my image right here and that's why you're seeing my name so what you're gonna do is you're going to enable your video you're gonna start your video you're gonna unmute it and it's just gonna be you in a meeting okay and so what you're going to do is you're going to hit this record button right here. So it's going to start recording what you do. Um, you can, I'm going to unmute myself. We'll see if that works. <laughs> All right. And so basically you're going to give your lesson. You're going to record whatever you want to record for your kids or for, um, you know, your, your team or whatever. And once you're done with it, you're going to hit the pause or stop. You can pause something, you know, if your dog's acting like a fool like mine is right now in the background, you can pause it. Anyway, so you can also share your screen. So if there's something that you not only want to give to them video with just talking to them or whatever, you can share what you've got on your screen. You can share a whiteboard and you can write on it and do whatever. You can share any of these in particular screens that you've already got up, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Um, so you can pause sharing, you can stop sharing. Okay. So this is where you're going to find all those options. So once you've done all that and you've done your recording, okay, you've, in Julie's case, you've sang a great song. I'm not going to do that. Um, you're going to stop your recording. Okay then what it's going to do is it's going to tell you up here the recorded file will be converted to the, an mp4 or whatever your computer chooses. I'm thinking they're all mp4s. You can probably background change all that, but we won't go into that right now. Anyway, when the meeting ends. So once you're done, for sure, you've done your lesson, you're going to hit end meeting. Okay. And then you're going to end meeting for all. And then what it's going to do is it's going to convert everything like it's doing right now. And it's going to take a while. And a longer while. And then what it's going to do is it's going to put it in your file manager in a particular place. Okay? So if you look at, see it automatically brought up the file manager. So what you're looking at is to find out where it's being saved to, so you can find it later once you get into your Weebly, you're gonna look up here at this menu bar, okay? So it is being saved in a file under this PC. So right here, it's this PC, and it's under the documents, and then it's under the Zoom file, okay? So you can post audio only of what you just recorded. Um, here's the actual file itself. Okay. So you're going to minimize that down. So you, so just basically, you know where it is. So you're going to minimize that. You're going to get out of your zoom and then you're going to bring up your Weebly account. Okay. So this is your normal page builder. So you all remember how to get there. So you start out, you log in from Weebly.com. You pick, um, whatever website it is that you're gonna work on. So I've just got my paranormal one up just to show you guys just as, you know, so I don't mess up anybody else's accounts. Um, I'm gonna edit the site 
and I'm going to pick the page that I want this to go on. Okay, so that's one of my main pages. So I've just made this file page um, so I can just show you guys how to upload things. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your build. Okay, so you've got a couple different options here. If your video is nice and short and concise, unlike this video right now, you're going to be able to just upload it as a file. So you all know how to do that. So you're gonna grab your file here, you're gonna drag it, put it there, it's gonna populate, there it is. You're gonna click on it, you're gonna upload file, and then you have to go find it in your computer. So hopefully it's kind of sort of remembered where it put all the Zoom stuff. Um, you can tell by the timestamp where things are. Um, so my most recent one is one of them. It doesn't even matter. So I'm going to open up that file. It's going to upload. Now it was a really short recording. So that's one way to do it. And then it's there. And then you can make sure and publish it when you're done. Now, here's my only issue. Sometimes these files, especially if they're video, they're gonna be too big to just upload as a file. So you are gonna have to put them on a YouTube channel first and then embed it from YouTube. So I brought up, here's my YouTube channel. They're free to sign up for. You can use your Google account. You can use your school account, whatever, it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my channel. Okay, so here's here's my stuff. Um, here is this, this little camera guy right here, create a video or post. I'm gonna upload a video right there. Okay, so if you've already gone to Weebly and it's like, it's too big, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna upload it onto YouTube, okay? Same process. You're gonna select a file. You're gonna go get it from your file manager. It should bring up your file manager anyway. I always have my file manager running in the background just because I'm always bringing up random stuff. So, I don't know, it's up to you if you wanna leave it open. So anyway, I'm gonna grab that same file that I just recorded in Zoom. I'm gonna open it. It's gonna upload onto there. You can change the name of it so you can say music lesson in Julie's case. Okay. And then you're going to go through and you're going to make sure that you've got this the way that you want it to be. Okay. You've got your very basics on here. You can upload a thumbnail onto it. It doesn't have to be fancy, you guys. It can be super simple. Um, make sure that you click for the audience. This is key. Okay. In YouTube, this is very much key. Yes, it's made for kids. It has to be clicked on that. Otherwise, that's not going to be able to be viewed. Okay. Now, the other thing to look at here, video link right here, you can go ahead and grab this, this thing right here, copy video link. You can drag it and copy it or just click on this, copy video link. Okay. There's the video right there. So that's basically what it's going to look like on your page when it pops up. All right. So I've copied the video link. I'm going to click next and I'm just going to double check. I don't really do any of the video elements. Visibility. Um, you want to make it public. That way, anybody who clicks on the embedded link in your Weebly site can see it. If you set it to private, nobody's going to be able to see it. Um, you can put it as unlisted. That way I have a lot of my, maybe not a lot, but I have several of my YouTube videos on my personal page that is just unlisted. Um, that way I can share them with friends or family. Okay. So public or unlisted is fine. I'm going to put this as unlisted just for the fun of it. And then you're going to save it. Okay. So you're going to, here's another option. Here's the video link again. If you didn't grab it before, you can always grab it here. So you're going to copy the video link again. Just do it anyway. 
you're going to close it, and then you're going to go back to your Weebly site. Now you can take your YouTube video, link right here, throw it on your page. Now remember, this is if your YouTube video is too big to be loaded as a file. Click anywhere on here and paste your link right there and then just get out of it. And there, right there, is your video. And then just make sure to publish, okay? I hope that that's not too much information. If it is, we can go over it in a separate video, just you and me, all right?